हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू कोडिंग सिंप्लीफाइड एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ न्यू प्रॉब्लम इन एरे व्हिच इज रिवर्सिंग एन एरे ओके सो दिस इज द वेरी बेसिक एंड इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन एरे सो लेट अस सी हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम सो द थिंग इज देयर आर मल्टीपल मेथड्स टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन ओके सो लेट अस सी वन बाय वन हाउ दीज मेथड्स आर वर्किंग सो द फर्स्ट मेथड इज uh like we are, have given this particular array okay let's say we are having this 1 2 3 4 5 array a now in the first method what we can do is we can create a new array okay of the same size which is of a and then what we can do is we can uh put the element of array a such that uh the resultant array v b would be the replaced array so uh like in that case what we can do is we can uh iterate through this particular array a from first position like these are the indexes okay from first position and with each iteration we can place the element of array a into the array b from end okay so what i'm saying is if we are having two pointers okay now the first pointer is uh here uh, for the array a in the start and then the second pointer would be at the end of b okay so let's say here so in the first iteration if uh, what we want to do is we want to put the element at the uh, pointer of array a to the element of the b at pointer of b so in the first iteration if you can see that one is placed here and we will decrement the pointer of b by 1 and we will increment the pointer of a by 1 so like in the second case um, we are having this 2 and we have placed this 2 here then 3 Three is placed here. So at last, our resultant array would be this. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, which is the replaced array. Okay, so this is the simple solution. And in this solution, our time complexity is big of n because uh, we are like uh, we are only iterating through this particular array uh, till n elements. So the time complexity is big of n. And then if we talk about the space complexity, then as we are using a new array here. okay and in the starting the all the elements would be 0 0 0 so at the last we will get this new array of the same size of uh, array a so in that case the space complexity is big of n okay so if we talk about in the uh, terms of the space complexity then this is not the optimal solution so let us see the second solution uh, in that case we are uh, optimizing the space complexity so in the second solution what we are doing is let's say we are given this particular array a okay so what we can do is we can just simply swap the elements so let's say uh, first is swapped with the last element second is swapped with the second last element so we can iterate through this particular array till n by 2 elements why n by 2 because like uh, in the first, let's let's talk about this particular array so we are having these uh, indexes okay so for the zero we can swap this last element for the two we can swap the second last element okay and then three need not to be swapped because like this is the old array so three is need not to be uh, swap because it is already reverse we can say okay so like uh, what we are doing is we are only replacing the indexes and after n by 2 like we do not need to replace because everything is replaced uh before n by 2 only in terms of iteration okay so as you can see that we are having these indexes then n minus 2 is the second last index and n minus 1 is the last index so in the first iteration we are swapping this n minus 1 with 0 uh, the n minus 2 index with 1 and so on okay so in this particular case the time complexity is big of n because like uh, as we are iterating through the array till n element and the space complexity is big of 1 because we are not using any extra space we are just simply replacing the element in our given array okay so now let us see uh, in the code how these things are working so yeah in here i am having this particular code okay so let's debug it and see how the things are working so we are having this uh, reverse and array one so this is the first method of okay so our debugger is 
here now what we can do is we can go inside this particular function so in this particular method we are having two arguments first one is our array one two three four five which i have given and then second one is the length of array which is five so this is our first test case that if the array length is uh, less than equals to one say zero or one uh, because in both the cases we do not need to reverse the array okay so this is our first test case uh, then if we move forward then we in here as you can see we are creating this new array so this new array has got created uh, same of the size uh, what is of array which are we are taking as a argument so uh, in the first stage the array elements are 0 0 0 all the at all the indexes okay so this time we are having this pointer so we can say that uh, we are having this variable uh, which we have initialized with the size of this particular array okay so this is our pointer for this new array so we are running this particular loop loop and as we have seen uh, in our example that we are simply uh, placing the first element at the last then second element at the second last of the new array so in same way we are doing here that we are having having this j pointer and then minus i so in the first case uh, the j is uh, 5 and then minus i equals to uh, j minus uh, 0 uh, so 5 then 5 minus 1 equals to 4 so if we see this new array then as you can see that we have placed the first element of array a into the last element of a new array okay so this is the one here so in the same way if we iterate this particular array then at last we have get this array 5 4 3 2 1 which is our new array and when we return and when we simply print this particular array then this is our answer 5 4 3 2 1 okay so this is our first solution now let us move to our second solution in which we are swapping the things so in that case i am not returning any value i am only working on this current array so now let us debug it again okay so debugger is here now in this also we are having this simple test case if array length is less than equals to one then return it nothing to do uh, then let us proceed forward okay so this is the temporary variable i am taking which is initialized with zero okay so in this case what i am doing is uh, i am iterating through this particular array which we are having uh, till n by two elements and we are just swapping so as you can see uh, that uh, in the temporary variable first we are storing the uh, element of this array uh, whatever uh, index we are having then uh, same way uh, at the so in this particular array uh, first element we are replacing with the last as you can see that uh, n is the length then if we minus i with the each iteration then minus one okay so in each case we are doing this and this is our last element okay so our last element we are uh, just replacing with t so this is the swapping only so if you can see with the first iteration r5 so in the first case r5 was at index 4 okay so in this case uh, our last element has become first and first element has become last okay so in this way we are going with it and as you can see that uh, our uh, method is completed now if we see this particular array so it has run till n by 2 so 5 4 3 2 1 okay so this is our expected result of the reversed array 5 4 3 2 1 uh, yeah so as we have seen the swap method uh, to reverse in particular array okay which is our method 2 now uh, java also provides some library functions through which we can uh, reverse and they work implicitly on the reverse and then provide the reversed array okay so if you are working with java then there is one collections api okay so in this collections api if we see then there is this reverse uh, method okay which accept the list as a argument okay so what we need to do is we need to reverse this particular array okay so we need to 
provide the list so we can convert this array into list using arrays dot as list and we can pass this simple array okay but there is one prerequisite that its type should be the integer wrapper uh, because like as we when we whenever we in java in we are working with list then we need to pass this um, as a like the type uh, the integer wrapper then only the list will accept so this function uh, also accept the uh, list with the type integer uh, which is the integer wrapper with the primary int it, it will not work okay so let me debug it okay so this is here now let us uh, follow this so if you see that we have provided this array one two three four five and now let us see what is our array so as you can see five four three two one our array is reversed so if we print on a console then this is our uh, required result which is the reverse array okay so that's it for the tutorial guys uh, if you are having any question then you can uh, mention in our comment section yeah thank you